All right, let's take a look at the examples for distance between two points. We need to first, for example, A, find the distance between the point 4, negative 2, and negative 10, 3. And we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And remember that a is going to represent our x distance, and b is going to represent our y distance, and then c, c can represent the straight line distance, or what we call the hypotenuse of the triangle. So let's take, first we need to find A, which is the difference between the two X coordinates, right? How far we have to move on the X line? Well, the difference between two things can be found mathematically by subtracting, right? So we could say 4 minus negative 10, and that would be our A, and then of course we're going to have to square that, right? And then add that to B squared, and B would be negative 2 minus 3, our two Y coordinates subtracted from each other, and we'll have to square that. And then that whole thing would be equal to c squared. Now if we want, we can shorten the number of steps we have overall, or at least sort of compress the overall functions together, by going ahead and taking the square root at the same time. Because we know we're going to have to find the square root of c squared to get c, right? So if we just go ahead and write in that we need to take the square root of both sides, now we actually know right away, once we're done with the left-hand side, we know right away what c is, because we just got rid of that squared term, right? So now we'll take 4 minus negative 10 squared, that's 14 squared, and we'll add that to negative 5 squared, and then we'll take the square root of that, and that'll give us c. Well, 14 squared is something a little bigger than I can do in my head. What, 196? Yeah, 196. So we're going to have the square root of 196 plus 25, which is 221. So we're going to have the square root of 221 is equal to C. And the square root of 221 is about equal to 15, actually. So C is approximately 15. 225 would be exactly 15. So 221 is pretty close. So C is 15, and that distance between the two points is 15 units. All right, let's take a look at example B. Example B, very similar, says find the distance between 3, 4, and negative 1, 3. So 3, 4 is somewhere around here, and negative 1, 3 is right here. So in this case, our x coordinate is going to be from here to here, and our y is going to be really short, and then c will run this way. So to find our x coordinate, we take 3 minus negative 1. We're going to square that and add it to 4 minus 3, square that, and then we'll take the square root of the whole thing to find c. Well, 3 minus negative 1 is 4, 4 squared is 16, so we're going to have the square root of 16 plus 4 minus 3 is 1, squared is still 1, so c, and 16 plus 1 is 17, square root of 17 equals c, so it's going to be a little bit more than 4, because 4 squared is 16, right? So it's going to be like 4.2 or something, maybe. So we'll say 4.2 is approximately equal to C. All right, and then example C. Um, again, very similar. Find the distance between. In this case, we're looking for the distance between 423. Holy cow, it's going to be way up there somewhere. 423 and 814. 814 is also going to be way up there somewhere. Wow. 814. Well, we don't have to plot them exactly because we're going to do it mathematically anyway, right? So we'll have 4 minus 8 squared plus 23 minus 14 squared, and then the square root. Well, 4 minus 8 is negative 4. Squared is 16. So we got 16 plus 23 minus 14 is 9, squared is 81. So we get 16 plus 81, square root will equal C. And then if we take 
16 and 81, we get 97. So we want the square root of 97. And that's going to be a little less than 10. Square root of 100 would be 10, right? So we're just going to say maybe 9.9 .9 or so. 9.9 .9 is approximately equal to C. And there we go.